Today we're going to assemble the DK2 multi-utility trailer. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the trailer frame is gonna come to you upside down in the box. You actually wanna keep it upside down. You can actually even keep it inside the box and use it as your platform, or do like what we did, use some heavy moving blankets. Uh, what I'm gonna do first off, I'm gonna go ahead and take our leaf springs and I'm gonna place them inside the leaf spring channel. Um, now, before I can continue on, I also need to remove these clips uh, or these pins that are uh, on the ends here. This is gonna be the front. Now I'm gonna take our tongue tube. I'm gonna set that up just like so. And you've got some 115 millimeter uh, bolts. All right, we're gonna run through the tongue tube, then through the leaf spring channel. And they'll be capturing the leaf spring inside. Then we're gonna take our washer and nut. We're gonna put that on there finger tight for right now. Uh, we're not gonna tighten it down until we got everything lined up. And our 90 millimeter bolt with washer is gonna go to the front side of the leaf spring. Then place washer and nut on the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten that down, uh, but not over tight. We just wanted to get it to where it secures uh, and holds the leaf spring in place. If you over tighten it, it'll actually collapse that channel. We don't want to do that. We're going to use 19 millimeter. Next, we're going to reinstall the pin and repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our coupler, we're going to turn that upside down, we're going to pull the bolts out of it. Set those to the side. We're going to slide the coupler around our tongue tubes. We're going to put the rear bolt in first. Put the washer and lock nut on there just hand tight for right now. Now as we set the front bolt in, we're going to start getting that through, and we're going to take one safety chain, go through the first safety chain, and then take the safety chain for the other side, put that through the tongue tube so the bolt can go through it. All right, next go ahead and loosely install the nut and uh, washer. Next, we're going to go ahead and snug those up. Again, we don't want to over tighten this, we just want to get it nice and snug. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and set the axle to the leaf springs. Uh, you will notice on either side, you're gonna have a couple of concave holes in the axle. Um, they're gonna line up to the locator pins on the leaf spring. Let's go ahead and set it on there. Once both of them are lined up, you can go ahead and get your supplied U-bolts. We're gonna take our plate and from the bottom, we're gonna go up kind of through the U-bolts. Also the center hole in the plate will go through the locator on, uh, uh, on the leaf spring. Once you get everything all lined up, go ahead and attach uh, washer and lock nut on each one of the bolts. All right, next what we're gonna do is go ahead and line the other side up as well, make sure the U-bolts are connected. Then once everything's all lined up, go ahead and start tightening the U-bolts uh, with a 17 millimeter. Uh, you don't wanna over tighten those and you wanna do that a little bit at a time all the way around just to where you get it all nice and snugged up evenly. All right, now that I've got this side tightened down, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the other side. Okay, so we went ahead and propped up the side of the trailer uh, with a four x four and I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire on this way we got enough space to fit that tire. Put your wheel nuts on. Make sure that those lug nuts have the taper facing towards the, the wheel. We're just gonna get them nice and snug first. We're gonna do that on both sides. We're gonna flip the trailer over and tighten everything down in the proper lug tightening sequence to 80 foot pounds. 
All right, now we're going to go ahead and connect the main harness. And zip tie that all out of the way. All right, now these front amber lights are much easier to install with this is still flipped over. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull out uh, these two Phillips head screws. Next, we're going to go ahead and feed the harness through this hole in the frame. And let it pull out the other side. Once that's true, we can line these screws back up. And get them both lined up before you tighten them down because these are threaded holes so we're gonna, we want to go straight in we're gonna do this on both sides all right now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and now we can go ahead and tighten down the uh, the lug nuts 80 foot pounds now both of your fenders are going to install the exact same way you've got some supplied carriage bolts those are going to drop through. Make sure you get the squares lined up with the square holes. And then line them up to the holes next to the wheel on the axle. Get them on, both on there, finger tight initially, then go ahead and tighten them down, get them nice and snug. All right, now we're going to go ahead and tighten them down with a 13 millimeter. All right, now we're going to go ahead and install the side panels onto the trailer. Now these side panels can be installed to either side of the trailer, but you just want to make sure that they're aligned properly. So your frame portion needs to be to the outside of the trailer and the corrugated portion should be to the inside. Next, what we're going to do is use our provided bolts and tighten it down. All right, front and back are exactly the same. The bolt and washer goes through. We've got the washer and lock nut on the back side of that. And we're going to tighten this down with a 13 millimeter ratchet and wrench. Do that on all four corners. Next, we're going to find our driver's side tail light. Now, this is going to mount directly into the frame of the trailer. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to spin this around. We're going to hold the light in place while we take uh, the nuts and washers off the back side of the light assembly. And we're going to go ahead and ass assemble. Uh, the license plate bracket in place. Now this is going to fit just like so. Put the washer and nuts back in place and we'll tighten that down with a 12 millimeter. Next we're going to go ahead and take the nuts and washers off of our six millimeter bolts. We're going to fit these right through the frame of the trailer. Comes to the other side and we'll replace our uh, flat washer and our lock nut. Next we're going to get a 10 millimeter and tighten down those two nuts on the other side. Now we're going to repeat the same process on the opposite side other than the fact that we're not going to install another license plate bracket. All right, now on all four of our corners where our lights are, we're going to go up underneath and we're going to connect the connectors to the main wire harness. Make sure you have a little bit of dielectric grease in there to fight any kind of corrosion. All right, now our front and rear gates are going to install the exact same way. Let me show you how to do that. First, we're going to remove the provided bolts and, uh, and washers from the back on both sides. Next, we're going to go ahead and lift the gate into place um, and we're going to hang the gate on the tabs at the top. We're going to let it rotate into place. Go ahead and reinsert the bolts. Flat washer and our lock nut. Do that on both sides. All right, next we're going to go ahead and tighten these down with a 13 millimeter wrench and ratchet. Now we don't want to over tighten these, we just want to get it nice and snug. We don't want to impinge the side. Uh, the, uh, the bolt needs to be able to move around freely. 
All right, now keep in mind you want the logo gate to be to the rear. That needs to be visible from the back. Uh, the frame for, should be towards the outside and the corrugated part should be towards the inside. Next, we're gonna go ahead and install the pins on both sides. Those just slip in. and lock into place. Well, it was just that simple. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.